Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about multiplying by two. Now typically for most people, most kids, multiplying by two is not very difficult, but here we're going to see a pattern that will help us later when we start multiplying with bigger numbers. Here we recognize the table. Here we have two times one equals two, two times two equals four, two times three equals six, two times four equals eight, all the way to two times 10 equals 20. And yes, we should try to memorize that. We should be able to do that in our heads without looking at any help. If these were erased, we should simply be, simply be able to go 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and so forth. It helps sometimes to recognize what that really means and what it stands for. For example, here we have the numbers from 1 to 20. Notice that the answer in each case is the second number, the even numbers. Notice that the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so forth, those are odd numbers. And the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so forth, those are even numbers. The answer to the multiplication table when we multiply by 2 is always the even number. So 1 times 2, or 2 times 1, is equal to 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 2 times 6 12, 2 times 14, uh, 2 times 7, 14, 2 times 8, 16, 2 times 9, 18, and 2 times 10 is 20. So recognize it's every other number, all the even numbers are the answers. Note, the answers are always even. Another way of looking at it is that each time we do the multiplication table, we add 2 to the previous answer. 2 times 2 is 4, so we add two twos together, we get 4. Then the next answer, 2 times 3 is 6, we simply keep adding another 2 to the previous answer. So the previous answer of 2 times 3 is 6. The next one, 2 times 4, we simply add 2 to that, we get the next answer. We add 2 to that, we get the next answer, and so forth. So it's another way of looking at the multiplication times 2. Another way of looking at multiplication times 2 is realizing that when you say 2 times 1, you simply mean that you have two ones, you add them together, and you get 2. When you multiply 2 times 2, that means you have two 2's, you add them together, you get 4. Multiplying 2 times 3, you have two 3's, you add them together, you get 6. Multiply 2 times 4, that means you have two 4's, you add them together, you get 8. And you can see the pattern here. It's all about pattern. Numbers and mathematics, it's just patterns that you see in the numbers. 2 times 5, that's two fives, add them together, you get 10. Two times six, that means you have two sixes, add them together, you get 12. Two times seven, you have two sevens, add them together, you get 14. And so you can see the pattern in the methodology of what it means to multiply times two. No matter what, even if you see the patterns, which is really good because it helps you understand what multiplication is, it's still very important that you memorize this particular table that you go from 2 times 1 all the way to 2 times 10 and memorize the answer in each case. But what helps is to realize that it's simply the even numbers, you count by 2, the answers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. If you see that pattern and with all the other multiplications, it'll be that much easier to do multiplication. In this case, this is multiplication by 2.